everybody, Chris the Old Ass Retro Gamer here. I am here today to do another book review. Yeah, a book. Not a game. A book. Although it is a book about games, so relevant? So before I get into anything, let's do a little backstory. So you might remember a couple of years ago I did a review of another book by author Brett Weiss, Classic Home Video Games 1989 to 1990. And this covers every game released for the Sega Genesis, the Neo Geo, and the TurboGrafx-16 within those years, as well as having like short little descriptions of the games that came out for the handhelds back then, like the Game Boy. Although it is black and white and everything, and some of the descriptions are truncated and all that, I thought it was great because it was an interesting read, and it also introduced me to a lot of games for these consoles, so it was very helpful for me. So let's flash forward to now. Brett Weiss sent me a copy of his newest book, The SNES Omnibus, The Super Nintendo and Its Games, Volume 1, A through M. So as you can probably figure out, this covers all of the games released for the Super Nintendo that begin with the letter A through M. And there will be a Volume 2 in the near future that covers N through Z. Logic! And why did he send me another book? Well, I need to talk about something first. So I want there to be complete disclosure before I get into the review. Brett contacted me back in, I want to say either November or December of last year, and asked me if I would be interested in giving him some blurbs for some Super Nintendo games that were going to be covered in this book. And all of them made it into the book, which is fantastic. So I want to say that I am going to do my best to be completely objective when it comes to this book, because my blurbs are in this. So you might think that my review is going to be a little bit biased, not only for the fact that I've already reviewed a book of this guy's, which I thought was great i was given a free book yet again by this guy and i'm also in the book well no because if you know me in real life i am actually more critical of not only my projects but projects that i'm involved with my family members everything i tend to scrutinize them a little bit more than as if i was doing just like an everyday movie or game review because even if i'm in the book and it sucks i'm gonna let you know that it sucks rest assured this is gonna be an honest review so let's talk about this beast It is hardcover, it is extremely heavy, really thick. The front cover is simple and nice. The back cover has some box arts from some of the more popular games for the Super Nintendo. And look, it even has the Addams Family on the inside, which is pretty awesome. And any book that puts a picture of Boogerman on the rear inside cover, yes. There's Brett Weiss himself on the back, a little blurb here about himself, and a little description about the book on the inside cover here. It was released by Schiffer Publishing Limited, and this goes for a retail price of $49.99. The book is 416 pages, covers more than 350 Super Nintendo games, and there's about 2,000 color photos. There's a nice little dedication at the front, a forward by Bill Laguadice, or Laguadiz, I don't know how to pronounce his name, but he is a fellow video gaming author. A preface by Brett himself, and acknowledgments of all the people that assisted with the making of the book. There's also in the back a little expose on the console wars of the 1990s and also another one about emulating on the Super Nintendo. There's a bibliography, a list of the websites that were quoted in here. There's some fan-made artworks inside which are pretty awesome too. And this is substantial. This book is entirely in color on high quality paper. The idea behind this book was it's going to cover every single game officially released for the Super Nintendo. Every game that is inside this volume receives a very lengthy description of the game and the storyline, and each game also receives a notable quotable section where there's a quote from a review from a video game magazine of the past or someone who's an insider in the gaming industry or whatnot, and that's an interesting addition to each of these entries. Almost every single game also has an insider insight section, which is where some sort of a contributor to the book, such as myself, the game grinder, Brittany Brombacker, you know, Blonde Nerd, and John Riggs were asked to contribute a story about a game that they were really fun fond of or not so fond of or a memory of the game which again is really interesting getting some insight from the gamers point of view so you have games in here that range all the way from three ninjas kick back to musia the classic japanese tale of horror so in the end do i recommend the snes omnibus volume one Absolutely. Yes, it is a little expensive, but it is also very high quality, so the price is absolutely justified. And it is a very interesting read. I actually sat down and read this over a weekend, and I was thoroughly entertained. Sure, there's going to be some stinkers in here, like, do you really want to read about every single FIFA game that was released for the Super Nintendo back in the day? Not really. 
but at least Brett tries to keep it interesting and fun to read through. It's not his fault that those games were made for this console. Brett himself, as in the classic home video games book that I have, really goes into some great detail when he describes the games that he is talking about in here. And also, he really did some great research to get these quotes from the old magazines and websites and everything, which is kind of awesome. I really enjoyed reading through every one of these. Sometimes they have multiple quotes, which are really nice, from different magazines like Game Fan, Superplay, EGM, which is a magazine that I used to love back in the day. And Game Fan was cool too. And it's actually really interesting going back and reading reviews of games that are like looked upon as classics now, but weren't back in the day or vice versa. But he stays true and does not give you any opinion about it. He lets everyone else that as a flavor text do that for him which i think is great because this is not a book of reviews this is just a book to let you know about all the games that were released for this console just as with the classic home video games book there were games listed in here that i did not know existed like I did not know that there was a game based on that crappy Flintstones movie from the early 90s. Or King Arthur and the Knights of Justice. What? No, I had no... Where did that come from? My complaints are minimal. The price as a consumer, $50, is a lot to put down for one book. There's also a few games in here that don't have a whole lot of material written about them. Either it wasn't out there or no one wanted to talk about it for flavor text. There are some games that I was looking forward to reading something about, so that was a little disappointing. And also, I mean, this is just a personal thing. One of the things I had a problem with was the people who were contributing stories were told you could only have so many words available for your blurb. So I kept mine really succinct and to the point. But then other people were given the ability to write what was essentially a short story about whatever game they picked. So I thought that was kind of unfair because I definitely could have gone on and on about Actraiser. Sure, there are plenty of other books out there about all the games released for the Super Nintendo. Have not read any of them, so this is my first. I can't really compare. As my starter into the Super Nintendo books, I give this a full thumbs up and I'm going to give it a four and a half out of five. It is entertaining, it is fun, it is informative, and if you are a video game collector like myself, it's required reading. So I bet you're wondering which games I cover in the book. I actually submitted a lot of little blurbs for it, such as Actraiser, Cutthroat Island, Doomsday Warrior, Jurassic Park 2 The Chaos Continues, Lawnmower Man, and Lethal Weapon. Since all of those fall within the A through M motif of the book, I'm only in this volume. <laughs> so, don't expect to get volume two and be like, where's Chris's quotes? I, I, I ain't in there. Sorry. So, get the book. You'll be able to read Mike Blurbs, as well as the Game Grinders and John Riggs and Brittany Brombacker and everyone else that's featured in this book, because all of the outside contributors, their stories are pretty cool. So, that is my review of the SNES Omnibus Volume 1, A through M. So, now I'm going to do something that's a little bit different for what I normally would do on this channel, and that is a giveaway. What am I going to be giving away? Well, the publisher kind of sent me two copies of the book. Don't need two. So I'm going to be giving one of them away to a lucky viewer. So what exactly do you have to do to win a copy of this awesome little book? Well, for starters, be subscribed to the channel. And if you're not already, subscribe right now. Leave a comment below, follow either my Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter accounts, and give the video a thumbs up. If you have followed all these steps, I will be absolutely happy to send you a copy of this awesome book. Good luck on the giveaway. I will be announcing it on my Facebook page exactly one month from the release of this video. And you might have noticed that I'm also here repping my buddy Captain Algebra. Picked up one of his awesome t-shirts, and you can also pick up one of mine at the address listed in the description below. Do it. Do now. Do it. I hope to hear from you soon. And until next time, I'm Chris the Old Ass Retro Gamer signing off.